Hello engineers and welcome back to Civil Nirman. See, while analyzing and designing in STAD, one of the toughest and the complicated task is to assign the design parameters in STAD. Right? Few of the parameters are easy, but uh, the parameters like for the deflection check that we do utilizing the DJ1 and DJ2 are one of the time consuming uh, tasks that we have to perform. Now, if you have a larger model, then it will take a lot of time to assign that manually by visualizing the node and beam numbers, selecting them and assign it manually. Now, there are few Excel programs also available, which gives you the extraction of DJ1 and DJ2 for your beam members. But that Excel programs are mostly applicable to your horizontal X and Z direction. But what about column? Right. For the deflection check, usually we utilize DJ1, DJ2 and DFF parameter for the deflection part. But what about column? See for the columns, you have to do it manually by turning on the node and beam numbers. Right. Then you use that can command to check out the deflection part. Right. Or if we want to work out the story drift as well for the columns, we have to assign it manually. Now to avoid this tedious type, now to avoid this tedious task, one of our, one of our, now to avoid this tedious task, one of our member, now to avoid this tedious task, one of our colleague has developed one small macro that will avoid this tedious task for the vertical member as well, that is for the column. So let's explore this macro, how this will work. So as you can see over here, right now, I have opened my stat model and the macro is also open. See, here you can see there are few member lists already available. So you have this erase worksheet tab, which you can click and restore your macro to the original format when you want to reuse again. Now let's take and select few columns from our pipe rack model. Now I'll click this here on the green button and you can see that it has identified your bottom node number and the top node number. Ultimately your start and end of the member and the relevant member syntax that is your stat editor syntax is updated in the Excel program. Right. Now, one important tip I want to give you in between over here is once you finish your geometrical modeling, right, you have to make sure that your start and end of the member indices, that is your green and blue color should be aligned for the columns as well as for the beam as well in order to avoid any mistakes. So make sure you do that. Now let's switch further. So I'll select few more columns to give you idea how this works. As you can see over here, here I have composite model and uh, let's select this particular column which is uh, starting from this RCC pedestal. So I'll select this column again I'll click on this green tab and you can see it has identified the DJ1 and DJ2. Let's select few more columns further. Let's take this one. All right. Now I'll make sure uh, whether it has taken it correctly or not. Right. I'll turn on the numbers and you can see it has identified it correctly. Right. Now you have to select whatever the members syntax as the syntax is generated now you want to add this in your stat model right so we have this second tab you can see uh, in the orange color in the now you have this second tab where it is written select j column data want to add in stat editor so ultimately you have to select that data then you have to open your stat command file right if the command file is not open it will give you a warning so first I'll show you that warning. 
so let's understand this so what i'm doing currently uh, i'll open my stat model where i want to add all the syntax so basically i have selected all the syntax from my excel now i'll i'll select my stat model which is already open okay so I'll click on this, I'll select that stat model, I'll click on open, see it is giving me a warning, right? So I'll open that command file. So remember that whenever uh, you are uh, using this macro, uh, so once you I identify your syntax in the Excel, your command file should be open. Okay, now I'll, again I'll click over here, I'll select my stat model because in this particular stat model I want to add so it will give you a, a notification that inserted eight lines after finished so ultimately this syntax which we have developed in the excel it will be inserted at the end of your stat model okay now see here you just have to check the bottom segment now see once this is updated, you have to close your STAD editor and open it again. Okay, so make sure this happens. See, currently it is not visible. I'll close this. Now I'll open my STAD editor again. Now you can see it's available. Right, after finish command. Now you can copy this or cut this and paste it at your relevant location wherever it is applicable. Okay, and I'll remove uh, the the comment segment so the command will be activated now let's check in the stat model whether it is working correctly or not so let's go to the design tab and in the design tab we have to check the parameter part so i'll click on the parameter here and let's check whether it has correctly applied or not you can see it is applied correctly and before you go i want to let you know that we have created some handy excel macros and programs designed to make your task easier see they are available in our download store at a minimal cost less than the price of a burger see this small contribution helps support our website and allow us to keep bringing you even more useful tools in the future as well and see once you purchase you will get the excel files delivered straight to your email thank you for your support and happy learning always remember don't just learn software learn concepts